I think it's simple. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics are the key to participating in the global workforce. So when we want our kids to be able to compete for America with China, with India, they have to know how to do those four things. So that's what we aim to teach them. I think a STEM literate student can be any student. It doesn't matter if they have learning challenges or they're the top of their class, but STEM literate means that they can problem solve, they can look at something, they can develop alternatives to maybe a traditional answer to a problem. And so I think a STEM literate student realizes that there's no one way to attack a problem and that they can come at it from a variety of angles and there's a variety of solutions but they are able to critique and figure out what is the best solution after they look at all the, all the different possibilities. STEM is more than teaching science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. STEM is a philosophy whereby not only the, the STEM subjects, but also science, social studies, and foreign language, students will be able to critically think about the subjects as a whole. Well, I think the way the STEM school approached it is the idea that within every one of these charts, they've integrated art, they've integrated English, they've integrated science, and they've integrated math. So the kids working on any one of the topics that they chose, they've been able to deal with all of the subjects in a real integrated manner so it makes sense to them rather than each one being taught separately and not connected. That's really the big difference. STEM is for us, STEM literacy for us would be a well-rounded student, a student who is um, learning for, for all the right reasons and, and applying learning uh, in a project, we're, we're project based, so what they're going to do is they're going to be demonstrating their learning, that they're going to have a, a systematic and energetic approach to learning, then they're going to have a, a real processing of their learning, and then a real-world demonstration or application of it. The value in this school here is that students actually get an opportunity to really see what it is. Um, learning real-life applications of engineering, science, math, technology is very different than the way schools are actually structured. Um, my experience, when I was in high school, I actually went to an art school and you never learned, you know, you don't learn about solar power and wind energy now. It was just very technical and, I don't know, I, it's been a long time. So a, the periodic table, it was very, very um, academic, not real life application. And the thing that you can see and just hearing the student's presentation, you can see that they truly understand what they're talking about. A lot of times when you go in classrooms, it's just so whatever's in the book, students will spit it out to you. But now it's it's real to them. It's real. They can tell you the young man was, he was explaining um, about Yucca Mountain and um, one of the acts that uh, around nuclear waste and how they're trying to get nuclear waste stored and the students are like well what if it blew up and what if it did this and he was like no 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 it's not going to happen that way and he really understood the principles arrive why they were trying to get Yucca Mountain together and just other in his opinion why nuclear waste would be good and that just that moment you can really see I mean it's just a difference when you observe and, and being here today you can see that the students are really understanding what is going on and how these concepts that sometimes seem so big, how they're actually really applied in our everyday life and why they're important. This is what we call project-based and real-world learning. And it's a great example of how an old educational model can be updated and transformed through community involvement and innovative thinking. It's also needed to produce students who are creative innovators inventors, problem solvers, collaborators, and communicators. Students who are capable of bringing solutions to tomorrow's problems. We had children who were 16 and 17 that came from communities like ours in the 88 counties in this state that were doing things that we do at our Air Force bases. These were children where a system and a program called STEM allowed 
poor children and rich children, disadvantaged children, to come in and have people work with them that believed in them. 